you very much, uh, Mr. Lawyer Fadi. Uh, we wanted to uh, know from your legal point of view, what does this uh, judgment mean today? Um, I think this is terrific for um, strengthening the, the rule of law and the principle of the separation of powers. Um, this wasn't an attack um, on the person of the, of the mayor of Banjul. Um, this was a constitutional strategy issue. Uh, the applicants believed that the, the mayor didn't have the, the legal authority to be issuing attestations. And the IEC conferring on the, on the mayor to exercise that function was not consistent with the election laws. Uh, so the issue before the court was to uh, look at the, the legality otherwise um, of that exercise of public function uh, by the mayor and, and the IEC. Um, and I'm happy um, that, that the courts agreed with, with our position that the, that the mayor uh, doesn't have the, that the IEC doesn't have the, 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 the legal authority to confer on her, or on the office of the mayor to, to issue attestations um, in, the, in the just concluded uh, voter registration. So in terms of within the realms of, 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 of our context and, and looking at our history, I think this is, this is wonderful. This is wonderful for democracy. This is wonderful for, uh, for the rule of law, uh, the independence of the judiciary. Uh, you know, in, in determining issues of, issues of huge uh, public interest. So, so I think uh, for us, uh, well, in my capacity as, as counsel for the applicants, um, I couldn't agree more with the decision of the court. And I think it is, it is wonderful for uh, the trajectory of our country's democracy. Now, talk to us about the timing of this decision, the ruling there by the High Court. This is coming after the voter registration had finished. The court is saying they, they, it ruled that the uh, IEC, both the IEC and the mayor did not have the legal backing to issue attestation. And this is coming well after the IEC had finished with the voter registration. And then the court also stayed away from the issue of scrapping. This is one of your demands for them to scrap whatever attestation the mayor must have given. I mean, what do you make of the timing? Well, we, we filed this. Um some three weeks ago, we filed, I think the application was made on the 24th. This was some weeks before um, the, the uh, registration process concluded. Um, yes, the court said that, that even though the court determined uh, that, that the actions of, of the IEC and the, and the mayor of Banjul contravened uh, the election act, that the court lacked the power or the jurisdiction to um, strike out, basically to, to, to set aside or cancel the, the um, voter cards issued um, in relation to the attestations. But the revising court has the power to do that. Uh, we've just come from court. Whatever happens next, I'll have to act on the instructions of my client. But, but even looking at that separately, I think the, the fundamental issue here is about legality of actions or functions of elected and public officials. So let us not underestimate the importance of this decision of court. On the air, Jamie, it was terrifically difficult to get these sort of decisions. We're able to come to court today having faith and confidence that the judiciary is independent. And when the judiciary is confronted with such um, um, highly sensitive, polarized um, issues, that, that, that the act within the, the law, and I think that is really the, the decision today. So, so whatever happens afterwards, I think, I think is secondary. The primary issue is about ensuring, sending a message that when elected and public officials exercise, carry out their public duties and functions, that whatever they do should be within the scope of the law, um, either within the, the remit of the constitution or powers conferred on them by, by parliament. So I think that is the primary issue before, before us today. What do you say to the claims that this, is, this move there by you and your appellants was, was, was politically motivated? Because at least one of you, the appellants, was, people say he's a politician, he's a councillor, someone who comes from a certain political party. Are we saying politicians do not have the, the, the power to come to court for seek for release? Um, but no, that is far removed from my, uh, my instructions. Um, I have acted. In, in certain matters that are different from this. So, so 
well, sometimes you can argue that these are political, but, but my decision to represent the applicants in this matter has nothing to do with partisan politics. Um, I simply accepted instructions in good faith, and I believe my instructions, my client's instructions were simply based on law, 